Hey you guys, it's your girl Sierra Lachelle and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. You have come into my entrepreneurship series. Um, this is episode two. If you have not watched episode one, I'm going to link it at the top so you can pause this video and go watch that and then come back here to watch episode two. Um, if you're new here, like I said, hit the subscribe button, turn that bell on so you will be notified if it's my post, especially for entrepreneurship videos. Um, up, I will be uploading more different types of videos in between my episodes. But for mainly like this video, I'll be doing like seasons of the entrepreneurship life. But today I come to bring you guys the process of starting a business. Before we get started, don't forget to give this video a fat thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're subscribed already and turn on that bell. So let's get into the video. We have five different topics to talk about in this video. Um, number one is going to be brainstorm, which is like pretty much writing out your ideas and all of that. Number two is plan. Hold on, my God. Number two is going to be plan, which is like, you know, you're going to start putting in like time stamps, date stamps, all of that. We're going to get to that. Number three is going to apply for your license, which is your um, business license, like we talked about in the previous video. Um, the next one is trademarking. If you want to get trademarked, you can. If you don't, you know, it's up to you. We're going to talk about that too. And then lastly, we're going to talk about registering your business with the IRS, which is your tax information but we're gonna start off with brainstorming now if, i don't know if i mentioned this in the previous video but the main thing that you will need for a business is a notebook and a pencil <laughs> you're gonna need that so before i even thought about creating a binder with all my stuff <laughs> um i had a notebook so um i just started jotting down ideas i even created a business list that's the first thing I would do, a business to-do list. So, um, as you can see, I don't know if y'all can see. As you can see, I had a list of things that I, ne I needed to get done. And then I also put, like, my Instagram name so I wouldn't forget because, you know, I'm very forgetful. And then lastly, my lunch date or my expected lunch date. This is the same date I will be launching, so it, it worked out well. But the first thing to do is come up with a name. You really, I mean, that's your first thing. Or if you don't come up with the name, start off with the products you want to sell or the type of industry you're going into. Like if you're doing beauty, um, there's art, cosmetics, um, accessories. Like it's so many different categories to go in. Or if you're like a wholesale, or you can do like, or if you're like a business that has a variety of everything, try to find something that kind of stems to that, that makes it come together in one. Like for example, Vibrant Allure, I'm doing bright and colorful. Well, Vibrant stands for bright and colorful. Allure is like, you know, beauty within, understanding your beauty. So I'm doing beauty products and I also have like bright, my colors kind of, my themes are kind of like bright colors. So it came together Vibrant Allure. You want to come up with a color scheme that you can like use um, for the whole, like your whole brand. Cause you don't want to have like, oh, one thing this color, one thing that color, like specifically. You kind of want colors to tie in together unless you're doing like a rainbow. I've seen businesses that do like rainbow themes or like a 90s theme. Just find colors that go together because you don't want colors clashing, if that makes sense. At this point, once you've gotten that, you would start creating your logo, coming up with ideas. Either you can create it or they have like different, it's people all over social media advertising themselves. They will comment under your business if you already have a business account saying they can help you with logos. You can make your own or you can pay somebody. I personally made my own because that's what I do. I do all kinds of graphic work, so I made my own. And then once you created a logo, you can kind of start playing around making like your business cards, your thank you cards, um, like any type of graphic design or graphics you want for your business. You can kind of start doing that. And then next I have on my list is um, applying for your LLC. Like I said, I will get to that next um like i said i did all of my business to-do list before i even applied for my llc and my ein number and my trademark um the next thing you want to pretty much brainstorm is how, to, how do you want to market like do you want to have a business page for facebook instagram 
um, TikTok. Like, it's so many ways you can advertise your business. Social media. Do you want to have, like, a commercial? Do you want to make a billboard? Like, I've seen it all. Like, y'all, it's so many endless ways and ideas to even get your brand out there. So, think, like, seriously, take time for that because you want to draw the right traffic in and, the, and a good amount of traffic to your brand and your company. Um, under brainstorming, I would typically put like um, like fonts and stuff. So I would typically add, go ahead and add um, starting on a website. Typically, I would. Like I said, some people did their business differently. I decided to do all this before I even got my license because I wanted to, um, what was it, right after? I don't know. I already kind of started thinking about ideas like if I wanted a classy look, more like a playful kitty, like, you know, colorful look. I went for like the more classy look. But like I said, it's up to you. It's your business, you. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is planning, planning your business. Um, so the thing I would talk about would be, do you want to, um, when do you want to apply for your license, your LLC, trademarking, EIN number, all that. If you have like a, like, let's say, okay, it's March now and your, your goal is to um, apply for your license by May or May or June. So you would pretty much kind of, it's like you would get a calendar or like I said, in your little notebook, you are going to um, write those things down. Set reminders in your phone if you have to. So you cannot like get behind. Have checklists. So once you do it, check it off so you won't, you know, get confused and bombarded with everything. Like I said, when starting a business, it's so much to think about because it's a lot to do uh, starting off. So please keep track of everything you do and check it off. Um... The next thing you would do, like, when do you want to order stuff? Um, who do you want to order from? What vendor? Do you trust the vendor? At that stage, you should be able to find vendors. Um, and if you are starting out very small, like, if you're going to invest $100 or $200, like, something small, if that it could be less than $100. Um, I would say look on Amazon because Amazon has some good quality stuff for cheap, especially if you're starting off in, like, you don't really want to invest too much money because you're scared and you won't make it back or you're scared you're going to go into the negative with the payback. Y'all, like I found this, I think it was a 22 pack of lip gloss, little, the squeeze, what you call the tubes, for like $5. Like you can easily flip that y'all. So if you do not want to invest that much money, that is the, that's pretty much my, that's my opinion and my advice. If you don't want to put that much money into it, go to Amazon. They have a bunch of stuff. Like most times, it's reasonable and they can, you know, it's, they're good vendors on there too. Um, the next thing is, will you make your labels or will you have somebody make them? You have to think about all this because you can, you want to brand your business that way. Like, let's say if they buy a pair of, lash, a pair of lashes, I can't talk y'all. <laughs> let's say if they buy a pair of lashes and you don't have no name on them, you don't even have your style name or your brand name on them. They're not going to know where they got them from, especially if they've ordered from different companies or even bought some in store. They're not going to know who they ordered them from. So when I say branding is key, um, y'all have to think about the style name on the back of the lap, like anywhere, um, the logo or the brand name, anything that can help brand it to make them draw back, get that attention and draw them back to your website. And then at this time, after you figure that out, like you want to figure out when will your lunch date be like do you plan on lunching at around a certain time or just a random date or will you just go with the motion and then like once you get everything done you just release a date which will it be like me um, preferably i did i set a date like months out in order to where i gave myself plenty of time to get all my inventory in to make my products everything i gave myself plenty of time because y'all know right now um usps fedex ups dhl is it dhl dlh y'all know what i'm talking about all these um freight companies are behind because of covid you know it's it's a delay for everything so you kind of want to um when you're planning this out you kind of want to order your products at least two to three months in advance depending on where you get them from. If you get them from, um, not a third party, but if you get them from overseas, it's gonna take some time to come from them to get to US Customs, then to get to you. So you want to be able to order them in time. Like I plan on ordering all my inventory by the end of this month. It is the 21st today, I think. 
and I'm planning on ordering it by the 30th, 31st. So that gives me October and at least the beginning of November to get all my stuff in. You want to plan ahead because you do not want to be those people that have to keep pushing your date back because it makes it look bad. If y'all get what I'm saying. Not to knock anybody that did that, but I don't want to do that for myself. Okay, so next thing we're going to do, I'm going to screen record my screen and then I'm going to show you guys. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to apply for your license. Um, then you're going to apply for your EIN number. And then lastly, your trade. And then that's about it. But I'm going to go ahead and start screen recording so you guys can see a better view. Um, like I said, I was going to show you guys how to apply for a um, LLC or your license for your state. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and type in my state. I'm just going to start with mine. And so I'm going to say Mississippi Secretary of State. And as you see, it pops up. And then this is for Mississippi, like I said. I'm going to do maybe two different two more different states so you guys can see um so right here it has business formation and services and we're gonna go there uh, <laughs> we're gonna go down and says form a business or file business documents and like i said i'm just gonna go ahead and log in uh, uh, um, why isn't i letting okay Okay, once you've logged in or created your account by this time, um, you will see file an annual report, file a status, form a Mississippi Corporation non-profit. Like, he has different um, tabs for each one. So, like I said, I'm going to do LLC, so we're going to click this. And once this loads, <laughs> okay, here it goes. You have the business type, so we're going to look for the LLC. But like I said, there is different types. You have corp, corporative, general partnership, limited liability, limited partnership, or you have a limited, limited, limited liability partnership, limited partnership, like profit, non-profit. I'm going to be making profit, so LLC is it. You're going to put your business name in. I'm just going to put mine. I'm not really going to submit this again because it's pointless. And then my business email. And if you haven't created a business email at this point, just pause the video here, stop, go create one real quick. Um, it's very easy, it takes probably less than five minutes to do it. You can choose whatever domain, Google, Yahoo, <laughs> it's a million out there. Um, and then here, you're going to pretty much put the effective date of your business. I think I put on mine, I think I put around the time I was going to lunch because at the time it was August and I couldn't put my exact date but like I said here you're just going to go ahead and fill that out and then the codes I'm not sure if every state does this but here you're going to click on the codes and it's going to take you to different types of businesses so right here you see wholesale trade it has six six 697,000 in the state of Mississippi as you can see but you're going to type in 42 as your code. So we're going to go back to the tab and you're going to type in 42. You're going to pretty much do three of them. Like I said, they have cosmetics. You can be able to search it as well. I'm going to go ahead and show you just in case you want to see. They have cosmetics right here. This is the code for that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much self-explanatory. So once you've finished that, you're going to go ahead, you know, your registered agent. I chose myself. <clears throat> Most times people choose themselves. So this is the time where you, you know, put your information, you put your, your street address or your physical address. I've heard both sides saying, don't do it, do it. I did mine. <laughs> like I said, it's up to you. But at this point, you're going to put in, or right, this is the part that you're going to really need to make sure. This is when you start putting in the people of the business so for my business um i put uh, where is it at i put us both as managers i think i put okay so i put manager as um because i have two two owners me and my friend so you're gonna fill the information in blah 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 their address all of that and then you're gonna choose individual like i said that's very easy and then you're gonna keep going to each step and then that's pretty much it. So now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna click out of this. I'm gonna do Texas, just a random <laughs> Secretary of State. I'm just gonna do Texas. 
Ooh, I cannot type. So here, as you can see, Texas and Mississippi <laughs> have two different types of layouts. Like I said, each, each state is different. So, as you can see, under business services, they have filing. And right here, you scroll down a little bit, you'll see the different types of businesses they offer in the state of Mrs. in the state of Texas. I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, like I said, um, corporations and all of that. Limited liability is right here, number three. So you're gonna go ahead and enter site. And I don't have an account with the state of Texas, so I can't take you any further. <laughs> um, but you're pretty much gonna create an account um, and log in and fill information out that you need. Uh, and I'm gonna go to Georgia, just you know, just a different state. And as you can see, it's a different setup as well. So you're gonna go to licensing under here, and you're gonna apply for a license. And like I said, I can't help you any farther right here either, because I don't have a license in the state of Georgia either, but. You're going to pretty much do what I did for the state of Mississippi for your current state. So, I don't know the exact website for the trade. I think it's right here. So, here we're going to go trademark. Um, before you even... Okay. This is going to be a warning for everybody. Before you even trademark, I would go up here because you can search trademarks. Like, for instance, search our database. And you're going to type in, right here, you're going to type, I put the whole, I put my business in there before. So if you have a name that you, that you really like, I would definitely go here first to see if anybody trademarked it. Like I said, nobody has the record shown. I have to still apply for my trademark as well. Don't, don't hit me in the comments saying I should have did this. <laughs> I'm trying to get out everything done, but as you can see, it has no records were found, so nobody has it. So you're just pretty much going to go here and then type in your information. And this covers the whole U.S. for patents, trademarks, all of that. So once, uh, 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 we're going to go back to the home screen. So now you're going to apply for the trademark. If you're a first-timer, as you can see, first-timer get the basics before you file and then once you've already know what you need then you're gonna go down and fill all of this out like I said so it's pretty much simple easy like as long as you follow what it says you will be fine like don't stress yourself cuz I thought it was gonna be something crazy and hectic and it's not so next we're gonna go get our EIN number and we're gonna go to the irs.gov website, the tax, <laughs> taxes. You don't wanna be, you know, having to owe the IRS, they're gonna get your money regardless. So um, when I filed, I couldn't find a tab for the EIN number, so I ended up typing it in, EIN, and as you can see, where did it go? Y'all, I used to know where it was. Okay, so here it goes. So you're going to apply for your EIN number. Apply for EIN. It's going to take you about 50 million steps, I swear. <laughs> so um, you have to have a license for sure. You can't do it without a license. And you have to know your social security number so you can link it to that business. So, right here it's telling you everything is on by the U.S. government. It won't release anything. Like, everything's in their database. Nobody else has, has the rights to this but them. So, you're just going to click Begin Application. And then you choose which one you are. Like I said, LLC was which one what I was. Then it's telling you what an LLC is, what it's not. So, if you, in, if you realize that's not you, you can always have this option to go back. And then, you know, clue, choose whichever one that fits you. So once we've done an LLC, right here you're going to say how many members it is, two. 
and then you're going to select your state. Okay, so like I said, I have multi-members, it's two of us. So technically to the IRS, we are a partnership, but we are still a multi-member LLC. So for instance, if you're just a one owner, you will be filing a different form than a person that has multiple owners. That's all it's pretty much telling you. So you've agreed, and then here, you, the reason why you're applying for EIN number, you're starting a new business. So we're gonna go ahead and continue. Then you're going to put in who is the responsible person of your um, business. Like it can be like most people put like the owner, like the the top person of it. So I put my information in. Then you're going to right here. You're going to put your social security number. I'm not putting mine in. It's, yeah, I'm not. <laughs> and then you're going to put I am one of the owners. And then you're going to go to the next screen. It won't take me any farther because I'm not putting my information in. But pretty much you're going to put the address. And after that. And then once you get your EIN number, it is going to take you to, it's going to give you your, your EIN number right away. So this is the last, this is the last stage of the EIN process. And then once you get that, it's going to give you this screen. And I'll be crossing out my EIN number and all of that. But it's pretty much going to give you a confirmation letter. It even sent you a PDF file. I have it uh, right here. Like I said, it it's pretty much, yeah. You want to keep everything, you guys, especially your license, EIN, your trademark. You want to keep this a hard copy as in printing it out, putting it in a folder or documents. And also, you want to keep it like an electronic log as well. Because like I said, you never know in these days what will happen. You want to always keep track of these numbers because you have to fight like H-E double hockey sticks to get the IRS on the phone. Like it is a hassle. So like I said, please keep up with everything. At the end of this video, guys, if you, <laughs> um, if you found everything useful, helpful, like it was a lifesaver, Please comment down below, give this video a fat thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Like I said, this is only episode two of my series. <laughs> I have many more to come. And I also forgot to mention one last thing. Um, it's very important to have a, like I said it in my video, um, to have a binder. Like I said, it can be big, small. Have a binder with every important document that you do not want to lose. Like I said, it is a hassle to get up with the IRS, even your secretary of state. Like it is a hassle. So please keep everything in here. Um, for instance, your receipts, your invoices, all of that, you're gonna need that because you do not want to get behind in taxes. <laughs> you don't want to go through that trouble. You want to be smooth selling. But um, that's about it for this, this video, guys. Um, like I said, if you want to see more, click the subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. That's about it. I will see you guys in my next video. Don't nobody else give me, don't want nobody else with me Please don't get it twisted We ballin', we ballin', we ballin', they hatin' us Never gets really, we both in the making I'm pullin' up on you like past we